This is your ABC Starter Kit. Everything you need to know about private practice. Welcome to the practice. For starters, private practice is all about a group of talented doctors at an alternative medical practice in LA. Emphasis on alternative. I don't feel anything. This diverse team isn't shy about blurring the lines between work and play. You left your panties at my house this morning. But they're serious about healing patients. I will find a way. So let's start with the ABCs. Three things you gotta know about private practice. A. Private practice is sexy. The same producers who created the heat on Grey's Anatomy are the minds behind private practice. That was fantastic. We're great. B. Private practice is very stimulating. Which one of you has the erection? With fascinating medical cases. We want to have a dwarf baby. And compelling ethical dilemmas. Genetic selection is a line that I won't cross. C. Private practice is sophisticated. I don't want it to be uncomfortable between us. I mean, if there's a problem, we should talk about it. Well, sort of. Enough! Now let's hit the starting lineup. Addison Montgomery's neonatal expertise has made Oceanside Wellness a first-rate practice. I can give you a pap smear, operate on your uterus, and perform surgery on your baby before and after he's born. Addison's best friend, Naomi Bennett, is director of another practice in the same building. My door is always open. Naomi's ex is Sam Bennett, a self-help guru and a gifted surgeon. Okay, you ready to roll, Mr. Hagen? Pete Wilder gave up Western medicine, but he's still good with needles. Ow! That sounds dirty. Violet Turner is a therapist in need of a therapist. Yay me! I am super normal! Violet's BFF is Cooper Friedman, a pediatrician who's great with special cases. Who goes around biting 13-year-olds? Try vampires. Coop has a hot and cold relationship with Charlotte King, the new sexologist at the practice. This is a legitimate medical specialty. Really? This? Del Parker is juggling midwife training and single parenting after the mother of his child died. And doling out good advice to all the docs is psychiatrist Sheldon Wallace. Say something shrinky. Strike while the iron's hot. Keep on keeping on. It's time to grow the hell up. Now let's check the glossary and look up beach. Addison and Sam are next door neighbors with oceanfront digs. Their patios are the place where everyone pours out their hearts while pouring plenty of wine. Turn the page and find complications. These doctors have managed to create a lot of drama in three seasons. My mother, she's a lesbian. You can't walk. You're black. What game we playing? I'm just a chick with a drink, no judgments. So let's get a jump start on the latest. Violet survived a gruesome attack by a deranged patient. You ripped my baby out of my body. Leaving her unable to care for her son. You're what's best for Lucas. Pete turned to Addison for comfort. This feels like happiness. <laughs> but Addison felt drawn to Sam. No, no, this is a bad idea. Why? Because Naomi. So she played house with Pete until a stable Violet came back into the picture. She loves you and you love her. It's okay. Naomi and Sam have come a long way since their divorce and she's getting lots of attention. I'm wooing you. Come here. But co-parenting their daughter Maya has proved challenging. Mom, call your father. Tell him to come here now and save your life. At 15, Maya is pregnant and married. At first, Naomi just couldn't deal. But mom! But a near fatal accident put everything into perspective. I almost lost her. Maya and her baby pulled through, but Dell suffered a serious brain injury, and even his brilliant colleagues couldn't save him, leaving his daughter alone. The writing on the wall said it all. Dell's death was a shocking moment for fans, and thousands went online to post comments about this season's dramatic finale. But leave it to the Oceansiders to make time for love amid the chaos. Here's some juicy footnotes. If you love the guy, Addison, for God's sake, don't let it get away. Addison made a bold move for Sam. Do I make you happy? Yes. You make me happy, too. And Cooper finally popped the question to Charlotte. You are everything I never knew I wanted. I cannot live without you. Together, these docs have been through it all, and there's no telling what's next for them. But you're off to a great start for a new season of Private Practice. All Private Practice Seasons 1 and 2 on DVD. Season 3 available Tuesday, September 14th. Watch full episodes of Private Practice at ABC.com. And mark your calendar for the season premiere of ABC's Private Practice, Thursday, September 23rd at 10, 9 central on ABC.